Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. And if you are a new subscriber, please go ahead and tap that bell notification button so you'll be alerted when I post on this channel, okay? What I have decided to do, I created some note cards with all of the elements and the zodiac signs on it so we're going to shuffle and let's see which zodiac comes out which zodiac we need to do a reading for or element so holy spirit what is the zodiac sign or the element that you like for us to focus on at this time please and thank you holy spirit can i get one card let's see one card it says gemini Okay, so we're going to go with that. <clears throat> Geminis, y'all are up. So let's see what the Holy Spirit wants you all to know. Holy Spirit, what is the collective message for my Gemini listeners at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for Geminis to know? From you through me at this time please and thank you holy spirit what is the message for my gemini collective what is it that you would like for them to know holy spirit one more show for you guys messages for my gemini's mm, we have the four wands family union and here go y'all energy king of swords okay so I feel like maybe you have been in protection mode over your family, over a union that you have established with somebody. You're really trying to make sure that you do the right thing by somebody is what I'm getting here. We have the six of pentacles. It's something definitely about family here. Okay, Gemini, maybe you have always tried to do the right thing when it comes to family. When it comes to the people that you give to and receive from. But something here I'm really picking up has started to break you down. In the name of family. Okay. You're, you're making decisions and choices for the family. But those, those choices are starting to be a lot on you here is starting to become difficult to manage this role that you play in your family and you feel like it's about to end you know you can't keep it up you can't keep up the facade anymore you can't keep it up gemini it's something here gemini with the seven of cups and the seven of pentacles for show Y'all are trying to save face here about something with a family or a union. Someone that you give to and receive from. It's taken a lot out of you to continue this relationship with this person, this partnership. But you don't want... It's something about appearances here for sure. With the Seven of Cups here. And the Seven of Pentacles, you're, you're also wishing that if you keep investing, if you keep, keep, if you keep up this facade, it's like fake it till you make it. That's what I'm getting, Gemini, okay? And that's that two-faced energy that you all embody at times. And in this case, it's not necessarily a bad thing because you are trying to save face to help another stay stable it's something like that here like you're the breadwinner that's what i'm getting okay gemini and you're trying to help somebody stay on their feet so you have been given to them in addition to trying to maintain this foundation here and it's starting to get be a lot of stress on your shoulders you have been trying to juggle bills possibly i'm hearing but, you know, eventually this is going to have to come to an end because you can't keep it up. Okay? That's what I'm... Look, two of wands on the bottom. It's starting to dry up. 
And you wish you could leave it behind, but again, it's something about appearances here. You don't want people to know that this union is suffering. You don't want people to know that whatever this is that you have been putting all this effort into is really not going to probably pan out, okay? Gemini's here. This could be, I'm picking up a relationship specifically. This could also be, a, it could be a platonic relationship though. It doesn't necessarily have to be something regarding intimacy, but it is somebody that you celebrate with. So, you know, if it's a family member that you celebrate with, that you kick it with, but you also be having to look out for them all the time, it could be that, Gemini. It could be a relationship, a intimate relationship, where you are carrying the load of the relationship and the responsibility, and you are burnt out, okay? So it could be a number of things, but it is somebody that y'all be celebrating with, that you thought you were going to have success with even. That's what this Three of Cups is symbolizing. Somebody who you celebrate with for show. You, you celebrated with this person in the past when y'all was in this Seven of Cups energy. Okay? But somebody, one of my Geminis is thinking about ending this partnership that's why this, this death falling right up under the King of Swords. Y'all y'all thinking about cutting whatever this four of wands union is that you've established with someone because it's just too much on you, period. You want your future to look brighter than it is right now. And I really feel like this three of wands is talking about how not only you want to, not only that you want to turn your back to whoever this is, because this could be a number of people with this three of cups and this four of wands. This represents various energies, okay, that you all have collaborated with. But this three of wands, not only does it speak to how you want to turn your back, I feel like it just speaks to how you just want to do something different. You, you, you tried it, okay? You most definitely tried it with this nine of wands, but... You want to do something different with somebody different, somewhere different. You know, the three of wands can talk about travel, movement, you know, determining your next destination in life because y'all feel trapped. Y'all feel trapped. Okay. The truth of the matter for you Gemini's is that y'all feel trapped and you're trying to remain stoic and astute you know, upstanding prince, you know, ba ba living your life based on the right principles. For example, if you are in a connection with somebody, you probably, whoever I'm picking up on for relationship aspects for show, cause I'm picking up on a relationship specifically. There's a Gemini who is tired of this connection. They're tired of carrying the load. They didn't think that they was going to have to carry the load for as long as they're having to do it. They thought this other person was going to be a good investment and that they were going to get something back on their return. But now they like, no, they realize they're telling the truth to themselves that this person really got them stuck up in some type of karmic cycle. And what I'm noticing here on this card, and I never noticed this on this queen of swords card, she has on a bracelet. You know, it's it's like you're looking at this bracelet. Maybe like somebody gave you a promise ring or a promise bracelet, some type of commitment. You know, like how people used to wear those. What would you even like how we wear the beaded bracelets? We have committed to wearing adornments that speak to our discipline about our spirituality. I'm just getting this off of this bracelet here. Maybe you wear beaded bracelets. But I feel like you're looking at this bracelet as this is your testament, a promise that you made to have whoever's back and stick with whatever situation you're in. And you're looking at it like, how did I tie myself to this person or this situation? Like, how did I get here? That's where a lot of y'all are at. And you're trying to figure out now with this Queen of Swords a way that you can leave the situation 
you know, no, no hard feelings type vibe. You know, you don't want to leave this person or, or energy community, whatever it is on bad terms, but you, you know, you're no longer going to be able to give them what you were trying to give them before you were trying to give them a seven of cups. Now you just got a page of cups for them. You know, it could be a child involved here as well that one of y'all were doing a lot because you had a child with someone in this community and now you're just like, you know, and I'm picking up that this is a feminine, not a masculine, a female Gemini who has probably been dealing with somebody, a baby daddy or something, hoping that Eventually, their wishes would come true with this person, but this that energy had a lot of stuff going on in the dark that this Queen of Swords didn't know about. And there is a child between these two people. This is their energy. And now she's like, well, I'll just take, you know, what I can get. If that means I can be free of the burden of this connection, you know, as far as support, financial support. I'm not looking for those seven of cups anymore. I'm looking just for that page of cups, something solid, minimal that I know I'm going to receive. Okay. That's what I'm getting from one of y'all queen of swords, Gemini's here. You'll take what you can get at this point, but you out of there with this 10 of wands with the knight of wands right behind it. Okay. Y'all gotten some truth and clarity about, these people that you were collaborating with, these people that you built foundations with. Here go this Gemini energy with the Queen of Cups. I am talking to one of y'all who is a mother, okay, who's received some truth and clarity about her love choice, who she chose to love. And you've been trying to save face because you really thought this person was going to make your wishes come true, but now it's you putting in all the work. And doing everything to make shit, make shit shake. 12, 12 on the clock. And it has left you in regret. Sorrowful. Bogged down. When you really supposed to be out here like this. Head up high. You know what I'm saying? Look at the difference. And this nine of pentacles is falling right up under the queen of swords. That's how I know this is your true authentic energy. This person has probably made you hard. Made you feel, your, has has damaged your self-esteem in some way. Look at the difference. This is you in general. This is your true authentic self prior even to possibly dealing with that person. This is where you at now. Your head is up on this picture. That's the main thing I noticed about these two pictures is how you, you got your chin up. You ain't looking down or feeling depressed. And you want to get back to you. You want to get back to being happy, feeling free, feeling independent of these burdens that you have placed on yourself in the name of love, in the name of loyalty, in the name of keeping up a facade for some of y'all. And you don't want to hurt this person's feelings too. That's why you've been wearing masks, wearing two faces, trying not to reveal how you truly feel because you're giving it time you're trying to give it a chance but this person ain't ain't reciprocating clarify holy spirit ace of cups this is what you've been giving this person look at the difference seven of cups to the page of cups to the ace of cups literally falling right up under another you have been given giving, giving and Ace of Cups to whatever this Three of Cups, Four of Wands is in your life. And this person has not returned the same energy to you. Two of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. For some of y'all, y'all are committed to, y'all are in commitments with people who act like they're unable to show you Requited love. Okay. They act like they can't return all of this effort 
that you're putting in to make y'all wishes come true. I feel like for some of y'all, you had a plan. If this was a partnership where maybe you were going to go into business with somebody and, you know, they did, fell, what they were trying to do fell off as far as how the partnership was going to go, the part they were going to play. And you've been trying to pick up the slack from that, I'm hearing. You've been trying to transmute that situation into something abundant and positive for yourself because you realized that this person wasn't going to give as much effort as you were going to give. You know, you your, your vision is not their vision. And some of y'all have realized that here. It's in, I'm picking up on various situations, okay? But I do feel like the majority of y'all are about to free yourselves from this toxicity, this eight of swords karmic cycle that you're in. You're going to stop accepting those people's offers and you're going to start investing more into yourself. And the difference between this seven of pentacles and this eight of pentacles is an eight of pentacles, they keep, keep climbing the money tree. The more work and effort that they do, you see that tree, the more abundance and financial security, various forms of security that they create for themselves. This is the vibe that y'all are in. You're going to continue to move forward. And you're going to get a little bit selfish with this nine of cups here. You are going to be focused on making your dreams come true as opposed to being in this seven of cups energy where you were focused on making another person's wishes come true. And that's where we fuck up at. Because you can't control anybody else's fate or des destiny. The only person whose fate and destiny you can control is your own. And Gemini's, y'all are in that vibe. You have learned a lot from the choices that you've made to be there for others, okay? You have become enlightened to the consequences that can occur when you put others before yourself. And you've taken a different type of action moving forward, okay, with this Knight of Swords. And y'all already know somebody going to be upset now with this Nine of Swords. We went from the Knight of Swords to the Nine of Swords, meaning that whatever... Lessons you learn from this hangman energy has changed how you are going to move forward in life, okay? And that's going to have some people upset because I'm telling you, for some of y'all, y'all was taking care of it all. Y'all were the, the money maker, the person who had that bread, who would ensure that that shit, that foundation stayed afloat, okay? But... I'm picking up a number of y'all. Y'all, y'all about it at. You about to show them your other face. 1808. That face that ain't gonna be giving up that damn money. Okay? Cause some of y'all have made a spiritual decree to not allow anyone, 1818, to continue to take advantage of you. If they're not giving the same to you, they ain't getting shit out of you. You may have even consulted someone, spoke to them about what you've been experiencing. Okay, the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands energy. And they may have guided you to revitalize your life in another direction. You can start over even if you have a child with this person. I'm really picking up on a Queen of Swords Gemini who is in that vibe. She wants to take her child and restart her life elsewhere without this baby daddy because they're not. she's not getting what she thought she was going to get out of him. So I feel like somebody has has advised this woman to consider that because she ain't happy. Clarify. The Holy, well, the Holy Spirit say that's the truth. We got the Seven of Swords right behind that with the Knight of Pentacles. With the Empress, okay, picking up on somebody who's realizing that maybe somebody had a plan to get them pregnant, okay, because they could see that this person was abundant, that they were a divine feminine that they were going to thrive in life. So they got them pregnant. One of y'all is feeling this way about somebody. And now that person is almost, I ain't going to say no leech, but you're having to take care of them. And that's not how you thought it was going to go. So you, you're looking to make 
a final decision with this ace of swords now that you have truth and clarity and advice from another about how to move forward okay any final messages for my gemini's holy spirit anything else here we have the two of cups i'm telling you some of y'all really feel like you got bamboozled by baby daddy who saw you as this ten of pentacles and you had a child with them and now you're the one who's taking care of everything as opposed to them taking care of you king of pentacles i'm trying to tell you this man you got one of y'all got somebody sitting in the king of pentacles off of your back and your dime and you've had it and the only reason why you accepted their slick o love offer it's because maybe you observe this person doing the, their thing, appearing as a king of pentacles to another possibly, okay? So when you had the opportunity to reconnect with them, when they approached you, when they propositioned you, you thought you were going to have justice because of what you saw from them, what they portrayed to you, what they presented to the world as the truth about themselves but after digging deeper with this hermit card one of y'all didn't realize that your baby daddy really broke for real five of pinnacle five of pinnacles with the four of pinnacles back to back child and you pissed with this five of swords because this is not who they portrayed themselves to be and you having to take care of them and i'm gonna say this in relationships, sometimes you do have to step up to the plate. If your partner is facing some type of adversity or setback, you may have to pick up the slack and pay more of the bills and help manage the finances better because their finances have taken a hit. But that's not the vibe I'm getting here. The vibe I'm getting here from one of y'all Geminis is that this person really, like, don't got nothing and ain't trying to do nothing. They just living off you. And it's time for you to balance that situation because your act, the action that you're taking has really started to dehabilitate you. You trying to be the breadwinner, the sole breadwinner. You, it's like you taking care of two people. And that, that second person is a big old grown man who can take care of himself. But again, I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, this is how they see you. And you know it. So this is why you're in this Ace of Wands energy because you can see that the future is going to entail you having to carry a lot of stress and burdens on your back. Okay? So I'm going to end it here. Gemini's, well, that's why I said I was going to start using those cards so that we can make sure that the right message gets out at the right time. For the right energy so i do hope that this message helped you all but always remember if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates and leave the rest and i'll be back soon with another one for your zodiac peace y'all